That thing has been thrashing away all night. I, uh... Boo! I, uh, installed the, uh, Yozimite. Yozimite? Yezimite. Yozimite. I don't even know how you say that word. Yozimite? Yozimite. I totally don't know how to say that word. Anyway, I installed the update last night, and, um... It comes with the new iPhotos, and I, I pointed it to my library on that 3 terabyte Network drive, yes, I have a network in the caravan. It's like a computer there. There. Which is now my standing standing desk kind of thing, by the way. I literally am at face, at eye level height, which is perfect. But I was just, um, I was just watching, um... Casey Neistat, who is like my all-time favourite vlogger, blogger, and just generally awesome fucking editor and filmmaker, and gen and generally nice guy, like attitude towards life, and just you know he's the whole fucking package basically, and uh, it's annoying as fuck. It makes it really difficult for other vloggers. So stop doing it, Kate. No, I'm joking. The, uh, I just watched vlog 19, and what I really liked about his latest vlog about running and exercise, uh, was the way that he talked about creativity, uh, indirectly, that when he's in his run and when he's kind of out of his body and just, uh, running and kind of all that stuff is gone, all the stresses and strains is literally just him, the pathway uh, and his determination, that's when things unlock. And I just thought that's probably one of his best videos about explaining about creativity. And I just thought I wanted to give him a head tip to that. Also, weirdly, uh, I was watching, I, I just fired it up and just went through my subscriptions. And uh, let me just, uh, oh, these are my, my uh, lights that we installed, me and my uh, my daughter, which she sent me, give me that for my birthday. I'll show you actually. Yeah, we kind of, we kind of put all these, uh, Lights and stuff up, but, but uh, my favourite picture for me and my girl. But yeah, the um, I had my iPad up here today, and it just seemed fitting, seeing as I've got uh, Ella's glasses, um, my RV glasses from RVSX when we went to South by Southwest, and these, which I'm going to wear today because it's, if you can see, damn nice. So I've not been vlogging or doing anything really because I've been completely out of sorts. I don't know if it's a mental health issue or if it's just an exhaustion issue or it's just lack of focus or if it's some kind of, I don't know, chemical induced food thing. I don't know what it is, but I just gap time and um, completely lose clarity and focus. So uh, I've just not been, I've just not been video blogging and um, it's great that you can get something like Casey's daily vlog, which I absolutely love now, and I've got to find a way now of, of, of backing, making sure that I get that downloaded daily, so it's ready there to be inspired by. Because I think I think marketers and brands and uh, and monetization and all of the new things that are going to come about, which have already started to come about. Casey's been amazing at showing how that how that can work as a filmmaker, but I think. Um, you know, you're buying the person, aren't you? You're buying the time of the person, the passion of that person. But you're also buying their skills and talents uh, of all those years that they've took to kind of work on their style, their delivery. So you're buying that. And um, it's just amazing that somebody from New York, who I don't even know, who I can correlate certain things with in terms of the gadgets and the technology and the using them and the process and the pipeline and all of that good stuff, can inspire you to pick up your phone and make a vlog. That's powerful stuff. You know, it's inspirational stuff. It's the stuff that, you know, local small towns, uh, big towns, London, cities, should be looking for, you know, a hundred people or a thousand people of inspiring storytellers in their towns and cities worldwide to pick up their phone and inspire different subsets of people. Because it does make a difference, especially for people who are locked in some kind of mental state and 
that's how I was this morning. I I know I've got stuff to do. I've got a Trello board, Trello.com, really awesome note taking little manager task thing. Uh, I've got I know I've got stuff to do, but I kind of needed a kickstart, and the coffee wasn't going to do it. So just watching Casey do that run, I feel like I'm exercise now. So thanks for that, Casey. I no longer have to run. Not that I was going to be running anyway, but like I I feel like I've been on the run with you, and uh, I don't know. It's good to correlate with fellow human beings, right? You know, to to feel inspired to get on the horse again. I would love a horse. I'd probably fall off a horse. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm gonna drink my coffee and uh, look at this beautiful day outside. I think, and then uh, get on with some work. Wow. <laughs> Feel like I've got laser eyes. Something about that light. Mm. My face is cleaning up now after. Uh, Working in that warehouse, like this, this dry skin stuff, it looks worse than it actually is. It's sort of round there. It's where my glasses sit. I get sweat here, here. But it has actually tidied up compared to what it was. Oh, there's a couple of this. I've got to get this laser cut fixed. This damn thing on my caravan door. It just drives me nuts. I'm gonna laser cut something. And get it fixed. The whole thing came off. And it's stupid quick look around my board. This is something that I went to. Um, there is a town called Phil Campbell in Alabama. Look it up on Wikipedia. I'm with Phil. A town, a tornado, and 20 people named Phil Campbell. I went there. That was crazy. Um, I just love this happy Father's Day card from my daughter because it's happy Fartner's Day. <laughs> this is just awesome. This is a Greek restaurant I absolutely love that is shut down and is, is not running at the minute. I can't wait till that comes back. Happy P Easter. Happy birthday. This is a, a, a line drawing that um, an old friend drew for me about the vision of me and Ella at a campsite with a sort of solar panel and everything. I just love it. It's drawn in pen. Amazing. Um, that's my nan. That's me and my birthday. I think I just had uh, two or three pints of pedigree just after that and got really sort of aggravated. This is all the crew from RVSX from 2011, I think it was. I had a, such a good time, but I, pff, I've i not kept in touch with anybody. I don't know what the hell's going on. This is my site, but I need to really give it overhaul since I turned into uh, the guy with bits in his beard. White grey bits. I kind of call myself the social Gandalf. My puppet, me back when I was a bit of a raver, and me looking like a construction worker. I have no idea what that's about. Oh, it's going to be a nice day. Wow. It's looking beautiful out there. I've semi-sorted out the, uh, the Wi-Fi situation. I've got... Um, a 3G MiFi with a 3 SIM card in it. I've gone back to that. It's what I originally had, but I had problems with the MiFi originally. And now I seem to have cracked it for the moment. I need to get an external aerial because I'm only getting one bar out of five. But uh, HSP, HSPA Plus seems to work over a certain amount of time. They don't, I don't seem to be throttled on it. So I, I've like moved 20 gigs, which is quite a bit actually for cellular. But I think I'm going to get an aerial on it to see if I can... Uh, boost the reception of it, make it a bit more stable. Because what I've found is maybe once a day it will lock up and it will go to WDCM mode, which is basically no bits per second and just die. So I have to reboot it. So I've been looking around and I've found um, a device which allows me to bond four of these uh, SIM cards together to give me a much faster connection. Now, it works out about £60, four SIMs, £15 a month. Uh, bond all those together and I get a reasonably good internet connection. Um, the problem is it's on a website where they don't necessarily tell you how much the device is. You have to contact them first through a form, which basically means we're deciding how big you are as a company and pricing it accordingly. I don't think there's much change out of a grand, to be honest, but we'll see. Let's see if they've got any sort of blogger rates. Anyway, I really am going to get on with my day. I'll see you soon. Bye.